This is my 1.6 HDI Peugeot Partner 2007, roughly about 104,000 miles. And what I'm experiencing is this blue smoke or somewhat blue whitish smoke on, on startup. Sometimes it's more blue, sometimes it's more uh, whitish on cold startup. So when I've left the car overnight to cool down and I started first time in the morning, I really have this uh, huge plume of smoke, something like this. <laughs> And I always wanted to get rid of that uh, because it's a bit embarrassing in the neighborhood when you start your car, you have this huge uh, plume of smoke. On different forums and stuff, somebody always will tell you, oh, it's uh, the valve stem seals. Uh, but I don't believe it's the valve uh, stem seals because you have other associate things like you, you stay on, on the traffic lights and then in the first go it will puff a bit of uh, blue smoke or if you go downhill and you're in gear and you go downhill and then at the bottom of the hill you press the gas it will it will puff a bit of smoke as well I, I have none of those what I believe this is this first thing in the morning on a cold startup I believe is just a condensation a bit of a crankcase gases come uh, go through the turbo with a bit of a oil when the car is warm it really get burnt very few oily drops they get burnt and you don't really notice them but when the car is overnight they cool down and pull in the intercooler and then on the first blast the turbo uh, spools the first blast this goes through the intercooler and get burned in the engine so the first cold startup this slightly get 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 blows a bit more so if you look at my video here of how much does the intercooler collect uh, after 10,000 miles you see that is a kind of a tablespoon if you like of amount of oil so there is a bit of oil in the cool intercooler my my engine doesn't really burn oil so what I would like to do is clean the intercooler really well and see if this reduces this cold puff of smoke of course, I'm not going to show how the intercooler to uh, how to re, uh, remove the intercooler. You can watch uh, one of these videos here, and I'll have in the description quite a few videos how to remove the intercooler. But what I'll do now is show how I'm cleaning the intercooler, and then run this to see if this has reduced the smoke. So here's the intercooler out of the car. I'm in the same intercooler, nothing special. I've put well, washing uh, cloth so it, I don't damage any of the fence and what I'm do I had a previous video that you can watch here for cleaning the intercooler and use acetone and it's quite good dissolving liquid but there was a comment uh, in the comments that probably will react with the ABS and melt it so this time I'm not gonna use acetone I would just use methylated spirit uh, from b and I only have half a liter but this is the first dose then really hot water I'll pour in wash it dip it and I've got a suitable container not to put it uh, down the drain but it's just easier if I have any spills uh, <laughs> to go in the in, in the sink then with the hot water I can I'll pour it up to the top then keep it for uh, like half hour then then dip it again and do this several times until it's fully clean nothing comes out that is oily so first of all just to uh, dissolve it I'll pour the uh, the methyl methylated spirit and this is quite a, a high percentage and I just want more liquid so I'll pour a bit of a I poured a bit of water just to have a bit more liquid so I could wash it around I mean the concentration reduced to whatever 90% to 50% but this is still uh, good to, to, to dissolve um, uh, the oil inside and basically I'll just pour it in I'll pour half in that side and half in that side doesn't so much matter really and what I'll do I have my two hands with gloves and I'll just rock it so we kind of um, what I also do just have it inside and move it quite a bit so it kind of dissolves any particles and then I'll hold it with one hand and just dip it that side and then do the same with the other side, hold it only on one side and then move it till it kind of reaches my hand then dip it again and it like multiple times until it I think it um, has dissolved and then I'll tip it over, that should be quite enough, maybe a few more times to to tilt it and that's it, I should be able to pour that one should be fairly black. Well, let's see. 
No, it's actually not too bad. It's actually not too bad. It's kind of on the brown side, but it's not it's not really that bad. What I'll do next, I'll put hot water. The hot water that comes out of my sink is roughly about 40 degrees, so that, that should be alright. I mean, this uh, heats up a bit more, so I'll probably have it about 40 degrees or so um, and pour inside until it kind of reaches, there is no more to go, it's basically until the end uh, it has filled in. Basi basically fill in the whole intercooler with, with hot water. Just tip it on slightly to go in on the hole slightly, move it aside and pour a bit more. I think that's, you can probably see it. I just tip it slightly left and right, just not to move it too much and you can probably see where the water, uh, where the level is there. The level is about uh, on both sides. And I'll have it upright position like that. I mean, it's filled in, filled up almost to the end. You can see probably the reflection, the water there. So the whole thing is filled, there are no holes, the whole thing uh, is filled, there are no holes, so I'll leave it like that for, this is pretty hot water, uh, well not too hot, but roughly about 40 degrees or so. So tip this over in the in the container, then do it again, do this several times until no more kind of uh, the water that comes out is, is, is pretty clean. So this is the first pour with the hot water, I'll just shake it a bit backwards and forwards. Uh, looks actually pretty clean. It actually looks pretty clean. Uh, the water is actually not too bad. There are a few oily bits and pieces, but it's not really too bad. It's just uh, a few oily bits. So I'll do this several times with the hot water. Maybe pour a bit more hot water, but not anything above 45 degrees. Just not too. Yeah, but it's actually all right. 45 degrees should be should be kind of all right. So I had several rounds with hot water, but what I'll now do, I have a fairy liquid, washing up liquid, and I'll pour inside of the of the intercooler a fair good amount of the, a few bubbles going around, and then put water inside, swash it around, do this a few times with the fairy liquid until it's really clean, because the fairy liquid will then dissolve the oily uh, bits and pieces. Now of course, because I cannot fill it up to the top, uh, because the, it will start creating bubbles from the fairly liquid, I put a, a fair decent amount, I'll just rock it left and right. You can start saying how <laughs> it's uh, bubbles everywhere, but that, that's kind of alright, that's the, uh, the, the effect that I was looking for. Now leave it with a, uh, with a dishwater liquid for a while, shake it, then pour water and do this several times until uh, the, what comes out is really clean rather than uh, any, any oily bits and pieces. So I'll do this pouring hot water uh, up until it's full with fairy washing up liquid and until really runs clean water, something like this. Example like this, when you pour it, it has to be really clean, uh, no oily bits, nothing. And the fairy, and the fairy washing up liquid re works really well. I mean, you cannot quite see it inside, but it's um, uh, pretty clean. Probably just about, probably just about making sight. It's actually quite clean. Uh, let me show it. That's quite clean in there, no oily bits, nothing. And now I'll basically put it on the, the radiator uh, at my heating and just leave it for 24 hours to, to dry inside. First I'll tip it upside down just to drain uh, any small bits and pieces and then just leave it to, to dry out for 24 hours. Uh, you can use a hair dryer or something, but, but that's probably uh, the easiest bit, just to leave it to dry. What I'll also do, I'll wash the fence inside with water and uh, soapy liquid, something like that, just to kind of be more efficient uh, if there is any dirt just to kind of dissolve it to be more efficient. 
and then of course I'll shake it so it, it falls through there. So if there are any bits to go through and uh, they'll turn it around, do the same. Pour a bit of uh, washing up liquid on that. So I cleaned the intercooler quite substantially and that's the intercooler now. It's pretty dry inside, you can't quite see inside, but it's, it's fairly clean. Try to dry it 48 hours outside. So it's pretty clean and dry. Now I fit it in the car on its face. There is a video how you can fit or uh, take out or fit the intercooler in the description of the video there. So you can, you can check it, I'm not gonna show it. So next thing is the moment of truth will this cause blue smoke will re re remove or reduce the blue smoke altogether stay tuned absolute success uh with with, with this cleaning i mean the smoke really reduced quite a bit uh, because I put the video at the beginning with a with the big smoke and after cleaning the intercooler, here is uh, the first is before cleaning the intercooler and the second video after, kind of a split screen, so you can compare the the two results. So one thing to notice in these this test before cleaning the intercooler and after cleaning the intercooler, and I'll put a picture here, so you can see on the top. The, the, the smoke is quite large and there is a bit of a whitish smoke as compared to the bottom. The bottom is a bit just pure kind of blue rather than anything white. I mean the first one of course it's reduced the smoke in a, after cleaning the intercooler. But on the first one you can see that there is quite a bit of a there will be a bit of a water condensation in the intercooler in the pipes so that's why there is a bit of a white smoke when on the second on the bottom picture you can see that it's only it's only blue and it's quite reduced but it's only blue so what this means is that i mean i've removed all the moisture from the intercooler so when you first crank it uh, there is very little moisture coming through the engine to to, to kind of burn and produce slightly uh, this uh, white uh, smoke second to look at at, at at the bottom yes there is a bit of a there is a bit of a blue tinge uh, to the smoke it's quite reduced substantially reduced i'm 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 really extremely happy by that so if this was valve stem seals you would expect the same amount of smoke the same amount not that much reduced blue smoke i can put some more videos where it's more blue sometimes it's more blue sometimes it's a bit whiter but the it's much reduced when you clean the intercooler so what this suggests is this cold startup is simply a condensation of oil in these oily bits are con condensing in, in the intercooler and the pipes why is not completely clear why there is a bit of a blue tinge well because first of all i have i only cleaned the intercooler i haven't cleaned these pipes up to the up to the turbo there will be a bit of a oily bit oily a few drops here and there in that pipe also in the dozer unit here or throttle body if you like there will be a bit of a condensation in there if you if i put my finger in up this pipe you see there is there will be a bit of a oil so all these will actually push a bit of a that's why there is a slight tinge of oil so i mean i sh what i should have done clean the intercooler clean that pipe clean this one as well and then there probably would have been no smoke whatsoever so it's not really the valve stem seals and it's basically condensation a bit of oil condensation in the intercooler so i suspect i can I, I'm, I'm running an oil catch can that would help with, with with this condensation but i have taken it for quite a while before these two tests uh, because i had to go through an mot through an annual check so this wasn't there when i was doing this test I, I, i'm recording this after uh, all this cleaning all these videos but there we have it this blue smoke on cold startup is mainly due to oil condensation and intercooler rather than valve stem seals inside the engine. I hope that's really useful to somebody. If you have any suggestions, any comments, let me know in the comment section below. So I've, I've linked quite a few videos down in the description of the video, how to take out the intercooler, how to put it back together and, and, and so on. Thank you very much indeed. Hopefully that is useful to someone. Uh, thank you.